episode five in our series on the Nova Laser Smart II. One through four, we've went through the machine pretty thoroughly. Episode five, we are going to participate in a self-imposed challenge with this scenario. So imagine we're at a craft show. We have our, our Nova Laser Smart II. We have two lenses. We're engraving dog tags with our 200 lens and we have somebody that brings us a red tumbler and they want us to engrave it. Our second lens is the 300 millimeter lens. So the challenge is, can we do it with the Smart II? Is the NOAA Laser Smart II up to the challenge? So the first thing we want to take a look at is the traditional fiber laser tower when we're using 300 millimeter lens and trying to engrave a tumbler with project mark or cylinder correction and light burn. So if we put our focal stick up here, we'll see that we have to have that tower cranked pretty high just to reach that focal distance. The marker's pointing at about 543 millimeters up on the tower. So that puts us above our 500 millimeter tower height. So if we don't have this height capability at our craft show, we're really going to be stuck and we're not going to be able to do a tumbler for somebody. And here's where the versatility of the Smart 2 will really uh, pay off. First, rotate the base of the laser 90 degrees, then rotate the tower 90 degrees the opposite direction, and we can actually have the Galvo hanging off the side of the table basically so we can achieve some extra height. So what I have set up here is just a basic table below the height of the workbench and currently the NOAA laser is raised up to its highest level. So what I have done is taken handy dandy Legos yeah, these are Duplos. They're a little big, but hey, we're at a craft show and that's all I have available, right? Scooted the small table underneath the side of the workbench and then just made a tower on each side of this Lego so I could index it up against the workbench to keep it uh, as square as possible. And then just eyeballed and lined up the sides of the case to make sure it was as square as possible to the side of the workbench. So at that point we have uh, our jig indexed to mostly square. And now that our jig is indexed to mostly square, it looks pretty straight. I have the red dot pointer always on on the laser so I can use that to line cup up to the approximate uh, center. But if I do that, that moves our jig away from the side of the workbench. Well, let's not worry about center across this plane. Let's just worry about uh, center in between these two points. So that puts us about center. So now the other brilliant thing with the Smart 2 is that we can easily center the red dot pointer to the center of the cup just by sliding the laser path right to the center of our cup. Tighten it down and we are centered up and ready to frame already. Let's check our focus and we are up out of focus probably about 10 millimeters so we can bring that down and at that level we are focused to the very top of the tumbler so we're going to be using cylinder correction so what we're going to want to do is focus down a little further 
to about that level. So we just want to focus down probably about another three to five millimeters. Um, we just have to make sure our settings are right on and click start, which I will do momentarily. All right, now we'll frame it up, make sure the cup is still lined up and it looked like it was ready to go. So then we'll hit start and I'll let this run just so you can see a little bit at regular speed. And then what I'll do is go ahead and bump it up to 1000 speed and run through the rest of the engrave really quick. I will say that it does run three passes, 250 speed, 55% power, 50 frequency on a 50 watt Rekus under the 300 millimeter lens. We are down out of focus approximately to the bottom of the graphic running cylinder correction with light burn. All right, we have our results. The NOAA Laser Smart 2 is indeed up to the challenge. So we have a red tumbler done with a fiber laser using light burn cylinder correction with a 50 watt Rakus and a 300 millimeter lens that is an F420. And we were able to successfully mark not just one tumbler, but a bunch of tumblers and I have more to do. So I will continue using the NOAA Laser Smart 2 and use the fiber on these tumblers. It's doing a great job. I'm very happy. Thanks to Tyler, who I'd mentioned last video. He has a Rakus and does tumblers and uh, gave me some pointers and, and helped me out. So I appreciate that. Now, please don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell and all that other fun stuff. Um, look me up on any social media. It's normally under LS Engraving, Light Source Engraving on Facebook. Check out the Makers Unite Facebook group. Check out the Lightburn Galvo Facebook group. Uh, lots of uh, support available in those two areas. And the Makers Unite Discord is also live and available. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. In the meantime, Let's get a close-up of this tumbler. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.